we are going to teach you today how to stop if there is significant bleeding by the roadside because of an accident. So how do you prevent the bleeding when you don't have a lot of medical equipment with you? So there are three things you can try to stop the bleeding. First is to apply significant pressure to on the wound itself to stop the bleeding. If it is not stopping, then tie a bandage, an impromptu bandage around the wound with pressure, what we call a pressure bandage. And if that also is not preventing the bleeding, you got about five to 10 minutes before a patient bleeds out to death from an arterial bleeding. So the heart is a pump and from there, the blood is being pumped through pipes through to your limbs, your arms and your legs. And how do you stop a bleeding when there is a leaking in the pipe? You create a tap just above the leaking in the pipe and turn it so that you close the tap to stop the bleeding. We're going to teach you an eight step technique to stop the bleeding. So to do these eight steps, you need any piece of cloth which is long enough and which won't tear like a lungi, a dhoti or a dupatta and you will be able to tie it tight. A piece of stick, a spanner, a pipe or anything which may not break under the twisting motion and the pressure. So to create the tap, we need to tie the tourniquet or the cloth tight enough so that the pulse will stop distally in the limb and the bleeding will stop. So Mr. Sina, if he opens the shirt, I'll show you. Let's assume there is a wound in his forearm. Now, we first apply pressure. It is not stopping. You apply a bandage. It is still not stopping. So we have to apply a tourniquet. So you see where the wound is and use two fingers above and go above that. About four fingers breadth you need to go above to tie the tourniquet. In this case, you can see that it's roughly the join line. You shouldn't ever tie a tourniquet on the join line. So in this case, I'm going to apply the tourniquet above the joint for Mr. Sina. And I'm checking the pulse to see if the pulse is there and Mr. Sina is alive. And uh, I'm going to now choose to tie the tourniquet. Now please observe, I'm going to show you the eight steps. It's going to be a little bit painful, Sina, so please bear with me. But what I'm trying to do is to stop the bleeding distally and save your life. So step number one is to tie the first knot. So as you can see, tying the knot is step one and I've left one end really short and the other end long for further purposes. Step number two is to tie the second knot. Don't tie too tight because we need to introduce the pipe or the tap through. Step number three is to put your object, whether it's a stick or a spanner, through second knot and tying it tightly. Now the step number three, we need to turn off the tap. So step number four is us twisting the tap in a clockwise direction to turn off the leak from the pipe. So it's going to be a bit painful, Sina, and I'm checking the pulse. The pulse is still there. So I'm going to tighten it a bit further. It's really tight and the pulse is now gone off. And if the pulse is not there, the bleeding obviously will not be there. Even if you don't know how to check the pulse, you can see that the bleeding has stopped. Now the problem here is that you have to keep the tap in place for that. Step number five is to go over one side of the tap and pull it. Step six is to go under the arm and step seven is to come over the other side of the tap and step eight is to tie off the knot to keep the tap in place. So once you tie the tap off, you can see that the stick or the spanner or whatever object you use is going to stay in place and is not going to move around and the bleeding will stop. You check the pulse to confirm that the pulse is not there and the bleeding is stopped. And the next step you do after that, after the eight step technique, is to document the time of application of tourniquet on the forearm or near the wound. So currently the time is around 11.10 and I'm going to write 11.10 on the arm. And when you're ringing the hospital, you inform them that the tourniquet was applied at 11.10. In an emergency situation, this tourniquet can stay on for two hours. Uh, so it's roughly 90 minutes to 2 hours and if you're going beyond 2 hours, you need to loosen the tap, uh, the tourniquet slightly, make sure there is no significant bleeding and then tighten it again. 
So what we're trying to do here is to save a life as opposed to save a limb if the tourniquet time takes too much. So step number one is to tie the first knot. Step two is to tie the second knot. Three is to introduce the tab. Four is to twist the tab. Five is to go over the tab. Six is under the arm. Seven is over the other side of the tab. And eight is to tie off the tourniquet.